Hey Heather, uh, this is just me and my uh, resolution to answer questions via screen recording. Um, I'm more than willing to uh, come and show you how to uh, do this face to face. I just make a quick screen recording for others. Um, the question is, um, how do I uh, fix the settings in my blog so that if somebody leaves a comment on my blog, it will send an email to a specific email address? Okay, here I am at Blogger's dashboard. These are all of the blogs that I keep in Blogger. Uh, yours will be different. Uh, and when you're looking at the dashboard, you see these links here, and you go to settings. There are other ways to get to your settings, by the way, uh, so this is just one of them. But you'll recognize the settings of a blog where it have the title of the blog up here, and then the settings tab and all the sub tabs are along here. Now there's a whole bunch of stuff in there, such as the name and the byline, which you've already adjusted, and the time zone of the blog, um, who can comment and how they can comment, things like that. But in email, if you click email, it will load up an address that you can send content to your blog. So, for example, if um, if the administrator wanted to send an update to the blog straight out of their email client, then you just put create the address for the blog here, just type it in. Um, uh, pardon me, put it in here. And uh, when you email to that address, it appears on the blog. Um, and here is an address uh, where you, when you put a post to the blog, it will then send you a copy to your own address. And I just realized that um, I might be in the wrong section for comments. That's right. There's, I'm in the wrong tab. Comments is the tab you want to be in to, to do what you're looking to do, but it's worth looking at this anyway. So you create an email address to send content to your blog here. And when you send content to your blog, put an email address here that will receive a carbon copy of that content. So, in other words, um, your, your email will receive a copy. That's useful for then forwarding it on to people who you know are not looking at the blog. But the thing you want to look at is in comments. So I've just clicked the comments tab just there. And we have all these settings for comments. And it's well worth having a look at through, through those. You can have anyone um, can comment. And this one here, for a start, should be anyone. I don't know why it was on users with Google accounts. Uh, show comments on the posts. Uh, new posts have new comments, etc., uh, etc. Et and then we get into this stuff. Show comments in a pop-up window or not? Yes or no? Enable comment moderation. I tend to say no on that. It's a bit inconvenient for people who want to leave comments, such as those who are expressing interest in our courses and stuff. But I do ask them to just do word verification. That's those little distorted letters and stuff that they have to fill in before their comment will go through. And that stops robots and advertisers leaving comments. And I uh, show profile images on, on the comments. Yeah, maybe. But here it is here. Comment notification via email. So if somebody leaves a comment on the blog, then this email address will um, receive a copy of that comment. So in your case, you want to put the administrator's email address and then you just save settings. Uh, and it's well worth going through all the other uh, sub-tabs of the settings tab there too. Alright, that's it from me.